Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome if it is your very first time here. Thank you all so much for being here and sharing this time with me. I hope everyone's doing well or as well as you can. So before we get started, I'm letting you know that I am giving personal readings right now at the time that I'm releasing this particular video. If you're interested, you can just send an email to the email address in the description box and we can talk about rates and options and see what's best for you. All right, that being said, what are we doing in this video? We are going to be channeling a message from your spirit guides. I will be shuffling on camera and we're just going to see whatever message your spirit guides want to give to you right now whenever you have come across this video. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get into your group selection. Hello and welcome to your group selection. So we have three groups to choose from today and I will be shuffling on camera. We have group one with Amethyst. Next we have group two with rose quartz. And last but not least, we have group three with green calcite. All right, so as always, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you need more time to meditate on the crystals to choose a group, feel free to do so. And I will start with group one. Hello group one, those of you who chose this beautiful amethyst, let's see what your spirit guides want to tell you right now. So we are going to give the cards a good shuffle, tune into your energy, tune into your guides energy to see what message they want to send to you right now whenever you've come across this. All right. Okay. So your first card. We have the lovers. Beautiful. <laughs> I want to get a clarifier for this because that's a beautiful first card to come out. I'm sure some of you are happy to see that. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, let's get one more. Let's get one more. I'm already reading two messages from this. Okay. And the King of Wands. <clears throat> okay, let me clear my throat before we get all these messages out. So what your guides want to tell you right now is that there's communication coming from a beautiful partner. Whether you are in a relationship or single, there's going to be really good, clear communication with a partner. If you're not interested in romance, this could just be a very, very close friend. But the, the key here is that there's a deeper bond here. There's a spiritual bond and there's really, really inspiring communication between the two of you. It's not like you know, when you go on those first dates or like you've been dating someone for a while and the conversation gets dull, you're like, is this working? I don't know. It's very inspiring. It's very, it's very enlightening. It's very illuminating. Okay. And this person actually is incredibly inspiring to you. They're coming forward as the King of Wands. So if you feel that you've kind of like lost a bit of spark for something that you've been passionate about, I do feel that your connections in general are very important for you reigniting that spark. If you feel like if what, whatever area of your life you would identify as like a bit of that spark has dulled, I do feel like just there's some kind of inspiring conversation going on with someone who's very close to you or is becoming very close to you that like reignites that spark and sometimes let me tell you group one <laughs> sometimes that really is all it takes is one person or a couple close people who are like rooting for you and supporting you and that's another message I'm getting like of course your guides are rooting for you maybe that's something you need to hear is that there's some passion that you have that you're like doubting yourself on and your guides are saying I'm rooting for you I'm supporting you we're here I know it's a hard road but we are supporting you and we want you to continue this Another thing I'm getting is if there has been some big decision in your life that you're like, I have no idea which way to go. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I turn back? <laughs> I feel this Ace of Swords is saying your guides are actually going to be sending you communication. There's a lot about receiving communication in this group. So keep your eyes and ears open for like synchronicities, for instance. Not everyone's going to be hearing like a voice in their left ear that's like, you know, you hear your grandmother's voice saying, take the left turn, take the right turn, you know what I mean? If you ask a question and you start seeing synchronicities and you take that as a sign, yes, I should do what I was thinking about. It's going to be things like that. But I'm also getting specifically, if you have a conversation with someone you trust and they give you their opinion, this may be something that steers you towards one decision or another, steers you 
kind of further along a certain path, maybe over a different path. Some of you might be choosing to continue with something or choosing to go in a different direction. And I feel like you're going to have very enlightening conversations with close loved ones as well as signs from your guides, signs, signs from the universe. You're going to be seeing repeating numbers. You're going to see that one same animal over and over. For instance, if you see um, spiders over and over when you don't usually see them, I hope you don't have a spider invested house but <laughs> or like you suddenly start seeing crows and you're not used to seeing them um, or hawks something like that you may even see them um, these are all all animals that walk on all fours so you could be kind of seeing a lot of animals that walk on all fours like a horse a goat or um, wolves animals like that I feel that those could be kind of messengers for you and it's not just about meeting people in person, group one. If you're mostly resonating with like, well, I know enough people, I'm not out here trying to make new friends, I'm not out here trying to make a new partner, something like that, this could be messages that you receive from media. This could be that there's a really inspiring character in a book or a really inspiring character in a show or a movie. Let me tell you personally, group one, I will get a lot of messages from whatever show I feel just like divinely inspired to watch. I'm like, I have no idea why, why I felt like I needed to watch this show, but then it lines up with signs I was seeing from another movie and an animal I saw in real life and the synchronicities I was seeing. And that lines up with something that someone said to me a month ago that I had no idea how that fit in, but it felt like a sign that kind of stuff. It's really powerful, and I feel like when it aligns, it's going to click. There might be some kind of mixed signs you're getting, and you're like, I'm not sure what they mean yet. When they're meant to click, they're going to click. I know that may be frustrating for some of you to hear, like, why can't it click now? <laughs> why can't I get it now? Why can't I just know what to do, when, with who, and for how long? <laughs> but that's not always how life works, unfortunately. Trust me, I would love if that's how my life worked too. So I feel you, group one. But sometimes it's a slow burn until it clicks. It makes sense. You see from a, a broader perspective what you've been going through and the signs you've been seeing, and you're like, oh my goodness, the big picture. It all makes sense now. Like those, um, those pictures where if you look up close, they don't make any sense, but if you step back, you actually see the picture. It's that. I feel like your guides may be giving you some, somehow, some outside perspective. That's what I'm seeing because we're talking about really strong signs especially like claircognizant or through media is really, really what I'm seeing for you. Or from other people, that all involves other people's perspective. And I know we don't want to hold other people's perspective higher than our own, but I feel like if you're confused and you feel like maybe you're too close to it, you're too close to this decision to make one that is objective and makes sense, if that makes sense, <laughs> you may want to start asking for signs from your guides or from whatever you believe in spiritually or your close loved ones. You might even want to ask like strangers. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I heard for some of you is if you don't want like some really, really biased opinion of like what people think you should or shouldn't do, quote unquote, you could literally just like run it by some random person online and start comparing what people are saying R run it by someone in the coffee shop be like hey this is weird i know but what would you do in this situation <laughs> you know if you're brave enough to do that i know that's really hard i could never do that but if you're braver than me go for it <laughs> there's just there's something here about like communicating and getting the answer you need getting the outside getting the broader perspective you need to make the decision that you really have been trying to make and also just about really thriving in your connections being very inspired by your connections being very inspired by conversations so if you felt like everyone around you is um <clears throat> not just communicating in a way that's not inspiring but if people have been communicating in a in a way that's not super functional <laughs> um, I'm getting that for some of you with this ace of swords like conversation and communication clearing up if communication has been a little muddy between you and your loved ones between you and yourself between you and your guides like you haven't really been receiving 
the kinds of signs you usually would or that you would want let me just tell you that happens that can happen that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you just sometimes we go through times where the signs aren't as clear our intuition's not as clear it doesn't mean you're broken it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you it's just every part of our lives is going to have ups and downs, group one. I feel like that's something that your guides really want you to know. And you chose this amethyst, so I do feel like you are a pretty, like, spiritual person. You're a pretty spiritually wise person. You're connected to your intuition, even if you're not out here, like, doing psychic readings for people or, like, interpreting your dreams all the time, seeing where they're steering you. Um, although that did come through, so if you've been having confusing dreams, that could be where the answers are coming from. Okay, that's something I'm getting for you. Amethyst and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there could be messages in your dreams. Um, this could also be if you've been having a lot of sleep troubles. I could see those clearing up. Group one. So let's see what else comes through. Oh, those came through really strong, group one. So they really wanted you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> I was like, if only there was an animal <laughs> that was connected to your dreams. Lizards can really connect us to dreams. I know that's weird, <laughs> but for me personally, lizards are a sign like pay attention to your dreams. <laughs> so, but this is also decisions and direction. Those are the key words in this deck. And we're talking about you kind of being at a crossroads. Which way do I go? Do I go left or right? And your guides literally sent two of swords. One for me, because I can doubt my messages sometimes, right? <laughs> They really want me to lean into that part of the message that like we're not completely sure is this the right path for some of you it's like you've been on this path and you're just starting to doubt it maybe there's been some obstacles you're like do I do this or do something different you're gonna be getting the signs that tell you this reading is most likely not gonna be like keep doing what you're doing or 100% go do the other thing because your guides are saying we're sending you signs so that's kind of the message about it. They're going to be sending you signs or someone in your life is going to have some really spot on insight, but you are going to know which direction to go. From the two of swords, we have this ace of swords, clarity, confusions getting cleared up. That's a really, a really big part of your message. I can tell confusion is getting cleared up. That's what I want you to know. That's what they want you to know. So confusion surrounding your direction and your relationships. That's like the biggest part of this is confusion surrounding your direction in life and your relationships is clearing up. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group one. This is really, really beautiful. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Hello, group two. Those of you who chose the rose quartz, let's see what message your spirit guides have for you right now. So we're just going to take a little bit to tune into their energy relax let the messages come through and see what cards they have for you i am already feeling the energy kind of like pulling back not in a way that like they're getting distant but like in a way that we need to relax i do feel this came through for my last reading that i had that had an option of rose quartz we need to take a minute to slow down if you've been getting this over and over i know that can be frustrating trust me i am someone who does not always take the message of you need to slow down <laughs> very well because if you have things you want to do if you have places you want to go that can be the hardest thing to realize maybe that's what's needed maybe pushing isn't actually going to get you there faster and I feel like that is a repeated message that came through from the last reading it's carrying over some of you would do well to connect with rose quartz I'm going to take that as a sign to connect better with my rose quartz or to connect more but that is something really coming through. Focus on you, focus on your self-care, and slow down when you can. You do not have to slow down in every area of your life. They're giving me channeled messages without even the cards. You don't have to slow down in every area of your life, but we do have to start taking more time group two to slow down in general wherever you can put it in. I know it might seem counterintuitive, but if you can plan downtime that is something that you want to start doing on the flip side if you're someone who's trying your best and you just don't have the time for it there's zero hours in the day you even have negative hours in the day and you're like losing time here losing time there there could be an opportunity coming through for you to have a break you've been wanting a break you've been wanting a little vacation you've been wanting time to slow down and it's finally coming okay 
oddly specific. They must have really wanted you to, <laughs> to know that. There was an immediate energy shift. Let me know if you watched group one and are watching group two. Did you feel that energy shift? Like, there's a, a complete difference in my body feeling. And we have the high priestess, okay? Pay attention to that inner world. Pay attention to where your intuition is leading you. A lot of the time, your intuition will tell you, you need to do this, but it doesn't seem practical. And we just have to find the balance of that. It doesn't mean you have to quit your job and stop paying your bills and go off the grid if that's not <laughs> possible for you, right? They don't want you to completely... It doesn't always have to be zero to 100, take a really scary leap of faith, right the hell out of your comfort zone and be scared, right? This is about starting to lean more into your intuition, starting to lean more into slowing down, self-care, listening. You have to be quiet enough to hear that inner voice. That is what I'm hearing. Group two, I need to take this message too, <laughs> right? We all need that message sometimes. There's nothing wrong with you for needing this message, especially in today's world. We are taught to go and go and go and achieve and conquer and accomplish. We are not taught to slow down, to listen to your intuition, to connect to your spirit, we are not taught to be quiet enough to hear that inner voice. And that is the specific message. If you leave here with one message other than the, the channeled ones about slowing down <laughs> and doing a face mask and taking a bath, slow down and get quiet enough to hear your intuition. And that means literal silence. I know if you've got babies or something, that's going to be hard. As I said, there could just be this magical moment where suddenly no one's crying, <laughs> where suddenly the cars outside are less loud, and it's just, it alleviates stress. That's what I'm feeling for you, is alleviating stress. You are going to be feeling more in tune with your body and more in tune with your intuition. I feel that group two is in... in <laughs> it's choking, is incredibly clairsentient. I feel that you're really in tune with your intuition through your emotions and your body. So you probably feel other people's emotions and even some of you feel other people's body stress. So you've also got to, not got to, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I know no one likes to be told what to do, but hopefully you came here for guidance from your guides and they really want you to know that if you are someone who you know picks up emotions from other people or can pick up body stress, body pain from other people, sometimes you may need to go and really, really be in your hermit mode and your high priestess mode and connect to, is this my emotion or is this something, was I picking up someone else's? Was I mirroring someone else's emotions? Is my body stressed or was this person stressing me out, if that makes sense? Take a minute to like simmer down, cool down and at the end of the day, they're really wanting you to do like kind of like a cleansing. It doesn't have to be with smoke. It doesn't have to be with sound. Just intentionally cleansing. I'm getting back to my energy. Someone who's as intuitive as you is really like an energetic sponge sometimes or you've been in that energy. You've been in that energy of kind of being an energetic sponge. Set up boundaries that may mean spiritual, that may mean physical, that may mean verbally setting boundaries. We all need that sometimes. Reassess your boundaries, whatever that means. As I said, is it verbal and interpersonal? Is that boundaries with yourself? We are not allowed to criticize ourselves for three hours a day, <laughs> you know? I'm right there with you, group two. Setting, I'm really hearing setting verbal boundaries. What you're allowed to say to yourself, what you are allowed to do for however long per day. This may mean kind of putting some order to the chaos, if that makes sense. I am seeing that with boundaries because you are, again, a very like, you are a very free spirit. You're a very intuitive person. But sometimes when that goes unchecked, we can take something that's a beautiful strength and it can start working against us. And if it is a really powerful strength, that can be really, really, um, really difficult if a powerful strength gets turned against us okay that's really what i'm seeing there's so much coming through for you all from, let me tell you your one card i don't even know that we're gonna get more cards group group two because you have one card and it's the high priestess and we got a bunch of channeled messages just from your crystal your energy and your guides and i think 
as much as the last group got messages that their guides were sending them messages, you're you're kind of more of a channel. It's not a better or worse thing. You are someone who has the potential, who has the energy to really be a pretty clear channel for spirit, for your guides, for the universe, for whatever you would call it, whatever you believe in. You're a very clear channel. And that can be exhausting, let me tell you. <laughs> if you try to like completely dismiss the spiritual side of it and be like, oh, I was just doing uh, six readings today, you know, guilty as charged. I'm letting you know from personal experience. Some people can do way more. Maybe it depends on your personal boundaries with it. But everyone is also different. So pay attention when you're connecting to the signs, when you're connecting to other people's energy, how much can you take? It doesn't matter how much this person can take. It doesn't matter how many readings a day this other person can do and still have energy. Tune into yourself, your energy, and what your intuition is telling you at the end of each day so you can release, so you can cleanse, and you can recharge. That is what I'm hearing for you. Your guides really want you to take care of your energy right now. And I feel like that's because like your energy is doing a lot. <laughs> I feel like, you know, you may be feeling exhausted, group two. I feel like you may be feeling a little burnt out. And it may be because your intuition is actually getting stronger. That's something I'm getting when we're talking about how it's a, a powerful strength. If you are used to only picking up so much per day... <laughs> If you didn't come here for like a woo-woo spiritual message, well, I guess you picked the wrong file. But if you're only used to picking up so many messages or so many like little intuitive nudges or other people's energy, and suddenly your ability to perceive gets stronger, your ability to connect gets stronger, it's going to be an adjustment period. That's what I'm hearing is it's an adjustment period. It's just going to be an adjustment period and you need to take care of your energy and your boundaries accordingly. That's what I have for you. Okay. Those are your messages group too. Wow, that was a whole heck of a lot. High Priestess. Okay. Connect to that High Priestess. We only got one card. This is a very special special reading <laughs> really that like never happens all right thank you so much for coming through group two and i will see you next time hello group three last but not least those of you who chose a beautiful green calcite let's see what messages your spirit guides have for you okay so we're gonna take a hot minute <laughs> we're gonna connect to their energy we are gonna slow down get all receptive and see what messages they have for you whenever you have come across this. All right, group three, I hope you are feeling well. I know I said that in the beginning. I haven't felt the need to re-ask that <laughs> to groups one or two, and I have felt that for group three. So I do feel like if you've been going through something, I feel like if you've been feeling really, really down group three, I feel like that's a message that your guides are really trying to energetically and emotionally support you right now but we'll see what comes through okay we want one at a time we have the ten of cups <laughs> blessings emotional fulfillment good connections we had a little bit about good connections in group one but you have the ten of cups so this is really being surrounded by what some people would describe as soul family okay this is people who respect you who treat you well if you've been feeling down because of the way people have been talking to you because of the way people have been treating you if it feels like people have not been understanding you or understanding where you're coming from i feel like you're coming across people or your current relationships are improving or healing so that the people around you can actually understand you they can actually understand what you're going through how it's impacting you i feel like this is mostly talking about group three is kind of like going through it and people around you are not necessarily really understanding that it's what i'm hearing is they're not understanding it in general but also not understanding the impact it's having on you okay so what i'm seeing to kind of shift the focus to what's coming rather than what we're going through. It's really, really beautiful, blessed, really, really fulfilling connections that fill up your cup. They don't drain you. There's some connection or connections coming through that being around this person or this group helps you to feel 
re-energized, helps you to feel healed instead of feeling like energetically and emotionally drained after being around these people, feeling anxious around people. I feel like you're just feeling very comfortable around whoever this is, okay? There's a lot of emotional blessings and there's a lot of blessings coming to your connections. That's the second group that's had that, but for you, it really feels... It's, it's like the feeling of being safe and calm around someone. That's what I'm pulling through specifically for you, is feeling safe and calm. Feeling like your body's not going into fight or flight, if that's something you've been dealing with. So let's see what else is coming through. We have the sun, beautiful vitality and joy. This really... <laughs> I was like, I don't know, it feels like some of group three is kind of going through it, maybe going through what you would describe as kind of cloudy times, let's call them that, dark clouds around us, and we have the sun and the ten of cups, so beautiful connections, just a better feeling, more joy, more confidence, more good times to just be very simply enjoyed. This is less, this is less about like, you know, sometimes we pull messages about deep inner journeying and stuff like that. This is more about just blessings and good times coming to you. Maybe even some kind of gift coming to you. Maybe someone, this could even be about people gifting you with compliments, whatever that means, someone gifting you with something. This could be words of affirmation. This could be someone saying, let's go to do this. Let's go to the park that you like to go to. Let's go to the theme park. Um, Let's go to the movies or have a night in. I feel like someone's suggesting something that you want to do that makes you comfortable. On the flip side, if you're like, I'm just, I'm not feeling like dealing with other people right now, you could be doing this yourself. You could be saying, self, we've been feeling down. What would make me feel comfortable and happy? What would fill me up with joy and also make me feel comfortable and safe? That's really what I'm getting for you. It's that, that combination of emotional safety, but being able to to do something that you really enjoy that lights up that lights up that light within you again. It makes you feel warm. If you've been feeling cold and distant and separated from yourself, from others, that warmth is returning, that comfort, safety, and joy is returning. That's really beautiful. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so emotional well-being, but I'm also getting group three. I love that this feels like another person. So this could be your guide, as I said. If you're like, no, I'm not really feeling other people. I just don't want to be out with other people right now. That is totally fine. You do you. For some of you, this Queen of Cups is a beautiful close friend. It could even be your mother or your grandmother. Now, if they are passed on, that takes on a whole different meaning because I'm also seeing for some of you, this Queen of Cups is your guide coming through who's wanting to really emotionally support you. Be I, I was hearing in the beginning, I was a little hesitant because I didn't want to make anyone upset, but now that the Queen of Cups is here, it does feel that your guide right now is actually kind of a supportive shoulder to cry on. So if that's someone else in your life, like your best friend or your mom, that is going to really, really resonate in a special way where you're able to communicate how you've been feeling to them, how you're going to be able to communicate with someone. I've been feeling kind of low. This could also be a romantic partner. I will say that this is just someone who's incredibly emotionally close to you. I'm specifically hearing shoulder to cry on. So it feels like group three has kind of needed that. Maybe other people often come to you for emotional support. And now it's time for you to receive that group three. I'm hearing that people come to you for inspiration and emotional support and for you to be the shoulder to cry on, for you to be the listening ear, and it's time for you to lean on someone else. That's what I'm hearing. You cannot always, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'll preface with that. You can do whatever you want, but most people, that's how I'll say it, cannot always just be the strong pillar we all have these ups and downs. We all have these times where we need support. This is a message that has come through more frequently in this last kind of period, I'll call it, this last era of readings, is that there's a group in the collective I read for who really, really is is dealing with being in a time where they have to rely on others, where they feel like, I have no other choice. I can't do this alone. I can't handle this alone. Is this a therapist? Is this your best friend? Is it your mom? Is it your partner? Is it 
your guide who's coming through. It's some something in that realm. <laughs> Someone is coming through wanting to support you. This could be some other kind of energy, a deity you work with if you're spiritual in that way or religious. But that's really what I'm seeing is someone wants to support you in what you're going through. This is what I'm hearing. It's incredibly beautiful. They want to help you feel safe and comfortable with what you're going through while also alerting you and kind of steering your attention. We even got that energy in the beginning, being aware and really validating what you are experiencing while saying, but hey, does that mean it's going to be dark and gloomy forever? No, there's brighter days to come. Maybe we can't see the time and date that things are going to get better or that your future partner will come through or that you'll get that new job, but things are not going to stay in this energy forever, group three. Okay, that is really what I'm seeing for you. That's incredibly beautiful. So it's the energy of being validated for where you are, what you're going through, how it's impacting you. I can't stress that enough. It's like people just have not been understanding how it's impacted you. And someone is, someone is hearing you, someone is seeing you. At the very least, I am, <laughs> because I'm reading the situation and I feel it. I feel what you're experiencing. There's brighter days to come. That's what I'm seeing for you. And there's support in the meantime. Some of you, this is a message about reaching out for support. I will say that. <laughs> this might not be someone knocking on your door. This could be you stepping out of your comfort zone and saying, I need help. Calling in a hotline and saying, I am not well. I need help. Depending on the degree of what you're going through. Okay? Exactly. We're talking about brighter days to come. There's a lot of focus on sun energy. Beautiful, warm, abundant, new chapter. It's just, we all go through those chapters that aren't so fun. We all go through those times that are not fun. They don't feel good. And you're validating that. You're saying, if there's anything to learn from this, did I learn something from it? What's my new perspective? But also, once you get this new beginning, let me tell you, group three, you don't need to sit around if it's been really traumatic and completely bypass what you're experiencing and feeling to say, what's the spiritual lesson? <laughs> Sometimes what you're feeling right now is more important. And then once you get to that new place, once you're feeling better, you can say, would I have done anything differently? What was I going through? Now with some more perspective, what was actually happening there? That's what I'm seeing. If there's any lessons to be learned right now, it may be more about validating your experience and feeling what needs to be felt. And then when these good times come, you can have this conversation with yourself, with this loved one, or with your guides about what was going on here? Is there anything I could have maybe done better <laughs> um, to help myself feel better during this experience or to help this go by quicker? That's really what I'm seeing for you, Group 3. I think that's what wants to come through for you. It's a really beautiful message, and I hope it comes soon. <laughs> I hope this person comes through with support soon or you reach out for that support because it just feels incredibly warm, loving, and validating. And I feel like that's what group three needs right now, okay? So I see you. <laughs> and I hope you are doing well, group three. All right, thank you so much for coming through and I'll see you next time.